Christmas bash I have attached a Christmas tree and a Santa stocking and uh, for those playing at home yes it does catch wind and it does get very hectic <laughs> Finished like, cutting half of the fucking job. Oh, fucking shit. That's um, four laps. Yep. It's turning into Gabriel's 180. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think he gets more laps out of a normal run than. You were four. fucking baking out there, though. Yeah. I could see you. I was on uh, turn two. Yep. And I could see you on short track, and it was just. It worked out that I had to sit back from the tent and get the extra run up. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm doing like I wasn't at three, hit the turn. Yeah, I'm struggling on the um with the run up. Yeah. Sit back a bit. He'll like it. Yeah.
So out here in sunny Queensland today, it's about 35 degrees and it's pretty fucking hot. Uh, we've done a few laps out there, haven't had any problems at all. Obviously just uh, hot, running hot, so uh, come in periodically for a bit of a cool down, change some tyres, keep cycling them around. Uh, one thing that's uh, really good on a day like today is this little Ryobi fan. Uh, it pumps out the water and uh, keeps you nice and cool. Fucking brilliant. Mine. It's your bonnet's flapping. Mine. Good thing I fucking saw it. It's got a safety. Yeah. Alright. Sweet. Like Santa? Oh, how's it going, mate? What's cooking? Sausages. Yeah? So, sausage Santa today. Sausage Santa? Yeah, sausage Santa. What's the, uh, what's the secret to a good snack? Oh, just beer normally. <laughs> yeah? Right, I'm gonna be like that tomorrow. It just, it tastes better because it's at the track? Is that yep. the general consensus? Yeah. Uh, race track adds flavour. For sure. Like, mix with the uh, E85 and tyre in the air. Yeah? Yeah. Just roll them in a bit of a dirt. Oh, actually, just to... more of like a you know, like smoked meat, but tire smoke. Yep. That's not important, there's snags here. <laughs> what did you break? What did you break? What's wrong? Won't stay on, like. Oi, you know what? I had one of them in my 180, yeah. my first 180, and when it overheats, this thing overheats and then it trips. So I removed it. Look, this is all cracked from like the heat. Where'd you get it from? What do you mean J cars open late all the time? Okay, let's just run a new wire from here to there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get that off there first. No, we'll put a new terminal and another nut. Yes, please. Do you like mustard as well? Or? No. No, alright. Cool. Uh, diagonal? No way, yeah. Uh, oh, you diagonalised it the wrong way. Did you fuck up? Oh, that's alright. This is why your steak Santa, not sausage Santa, eh? Yes. Cook the food, not present it out, alright? This is why your steak Santa, not sausage Santa. Is that enough onion, Eric? That is brilliant amounts of onion. There you go, darling. Again, Merry Christmas and all that. Thank you. Alessandro the Tire Baron. Cheers, buddy. 
So basically, you've got your loom here, and I've protected all this, and this all runs up the top, so there's no, um, you can't rub through there. But what's happened is it started to rub a bit through the back here, so I'm just gonna try and delicately tape up these exposed wires. Got a bit of um, metal here, I'm just gonna sort of fabricate some sort of cover that should last this afternoon and then um, we'll have to come up with a more permanent solution. stop the loom from getting rubbed through this afternoon and then uh, we can fix it up later on. Let's go drifting again. decided to bleed all over the ground just as I rolled in so did my last lap pulled into the pits and then uh, the car was like yep yeah, I've had enough which it's time to go home anyway uh, looking at it it's probably a um, Welsh plug or the turbo feed water hose um, but, uh, oh well. Time to fix it up. 